Hello, and welcome back to SIBO Mistakes. This is the series where I talk about the biggest mistakes that SIBO sufferers are making, and it is keeping them stuck. These are the mistakes that will keep you going back again and again for another breath test. These are the things that will keep you bloated and constipated and suffering with diarrhea and abdominal pain. These are the things that will keep you intolerant of your favorite foods like onion, garlic, wheat, and dairy. These are the things that are going to keep you growing that supplement graveyard. You know, the list of antimicrobials that you've tried and they work for somebody else, but not for you. So if you want to be SIBO free, nay, SIBO proof anytime in the near future, this is a very important series for you to watch. Now, as we get into this SIBO mistake that I'm going to talk about today, you need to understand something first. And that is that your conceptual framework of how you understand SIBO might be deeply flawed. It probably is if you're new to this channel and you haven't heard me talk about this yet. But as we get into that, I want to talk about this, this deeply flawed model of SIBO that you have come to hold on to. And that is that SIBO is simply a quantity problem, right? You have too many bacteria and you should have this many bacteria. And so you do the math. If you're here and you want to be here, you need to subtract. So you need to kill and starve. And that's just simple math for you, baby. And if you add instead of subtract, you're going to make the SIBO worse. And that's where this mistake comes in. And it slides in so sneakily. It slides into your DMs and you don't even realize it. And it's the belief that probiotics will make SIBO worse. And it's the belief that you cannot take probiotics if you are dealing with SIBO. You see, what makes this especially sneaky is not only does it logically fit this framework that you've already adopted without realizing it, which again is incorrect, but also there are very smart people with very impressive accolades who will publicly tell you in webinars and on Instagram and YouTube that this is true. There is one such person that I can think of right off the top of the bat, and he's easily in the top two of public figures in the SIBO space. And he's a medical doctor, and that's very impressive. And he will tell you, and he has told people many times in webinars before, that you cannot take probiotics if you have SIBO because you already have too many bacteria, right? You're trying to go here. You can't go here. If you add bacteria on top of bad bacteria, you're going to make SIBO worse. That cannot be further from the truth. Not only does that not really work in the sense of like what SIBO really is, which appears to be more of a dysbiosis than anything else. But we have actual scientific evidence that this opinion that he holds is incorrect. And he has scared you away from the very thing that actually might help you. You see, we have numerous clinical trials in humans demonstrating that probiotics not only help to eradicate SIBO in breath testing, but also it helps to alleviate symptoms like abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. So again, be very careful where you're getting your information on the internet. And I'm not, uh, I'm not immune. Don't take what I say at face value. I'm going to link a lot of studies in the comments or in the description of this video down below. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm full of horseradish, be my guest, read these studies because I have, and I will tell you they are compelling. We have good, good evidence that probiotics of many different varieties, lactobacillus, bifido, and everything in between can and do help SIBO. So if you have made the mistake of avoiding probiotics and thinking that this is simple math, that you already have too many bacteria and you can't add more to that equation, that is what I'm inviting you to exchange today. Switch out that belief, exchange that and stop making that mistake and instead embrace probiotics as a potential tool in your SIBO journey. As I mentioned earlier before, the best research we have right now is indicating that SIBO and the symptoms that accompany it might be more of a dysbiosis problem, that is an imbalance between the good and the bad, rather than a simple quantity problem. And you know what can help treat dysbiosis really well? Probiotics. And look, I get it, this is a lot to digest, pun, totally 100% intended, by the way. This is a lot. You have been led to believe a lot of things that are probably false. Let's just be frank about it. And now it's like we're in the Matrix movie and I'm giving you the choice of the red pill or the blue pill. 
And I hope that you come and join me on this side of the internet, on this side of the SIBO universe, because frankly, I get results. I hear other practitioners talk about how SIBO is so hard to treat and you need to do this diet forever. And some people just always need antimicrobials. And this is a high relapse condition. And I think that they're full of malarkey. SIBO is not hard to treat. It's really not rocket science. When you understand the basic tenets of human health, and what it takes to make a human being healthy again. And you know how to coach people and give them advice and not break the bank doing it. So if any of this resonates, if you want something different, if you know that you need something different and you're looking for that transformation that you've been dreaming of, I really hope that I get to see you in FODMAP Freedom in the future. FODMAP Freedom is my group coaching program and I walk you through all of these SIBO mistakes and then some. But at the end of the day, my goal in FODMAP Freedom is to teach you how to build a healthy, strong, resilient, SIBO-proof, candida-proof, dysbiosis-proof, leaky gut-proof body and gut. And again, in doing so, we could treat, we could do it holistically, we could do so gently, and we could save your sanity and save your pocketbook in the process. So... I would be delighted and honored if you would consider joining me and my team in FODMAP Freedom. I know I can help you if you have the symptoms that I talked about in this video. And I just really hope that you will consider joining us in the near future.